Hello friends, welcome to your own channel, Noiseless Investment. Here we try to decode a company based on the fundamentals and get to know if the company is worth our investment or not. Please note, I am not a SEBI registered advisor and these are my personal views based on the fundamentals of this stock. Please do your due diligence before investing in this stock and uh, please consult your financial advisor as well. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the useful information on a regular basis. The main purpose is of this video is to mute the noise the operators create and as a result the gullible retail investors fall prey to. The purpose is to beat the operators by our own acquired knowledge. So today we are going to do a fundamental analysis on Gulf Oil Lubricants India Limited. So here you can just go through this website of Gulf India, uh, Gulf Oil Lubricants and get to know more about this company. So they are responsible for sponsoring various uh, automotive events and the car racing when they are uh, responsible for uh, a lot of events that took place in the in the recent past as well so these are the products of this company they are into automotive uh, lubricants industrial lubricants batteries and marines so you will get to know more about this company once you will visit the website so now let's move on to the so here I am into the screener website and we see that the current market price of this stock is 461 and it moved by 0.17%. The current market cap of this company is 2256 crores and the stock PE is 9.71. The industry PE is 27.2 so it is much cheaper than the industry PE. The ROCE is extremely good and it is maintaining a very consistent ROCE for uh, on an average. So you can see it is 30.5, 26.6, 24.0, 23.5. So the ROCE is quite good. Let's look into the ROE. The ROE is also very extremely nice. It is more than 20% for uh, every uh, since last a decade. And if we look into the debt on the company, it is 0.32, which is extremely less, which is less in comparison to the other companies in this sector. If we look into the face value, it is 2 and it, the dividend yield is greater than 1, which makes this stock a uh, desirable one. If you look into the current ratio, it is 1.97, which means that the, uh, the management of the company is extremely efficient in managing the, uh, the cash and the other reserves that the company is, is as of now having. If you look into the promoters holding it is 72%, the FII is holding is 3.57% and the DI is holding is 7.02%. And uh, the only uh, only FI, only DI is they have reduced their stake in this company. And if we look into the sales growth, CAGR it is 36.8%, profit growth is 10.4%, CAGR which is nice about this company the operating profit margin is 11.4 so they are taking 11.4 rupees in their pocket of all of 100 rupees every 100 rupees earned so if we look into the eps earning per share then it is 47.4 percent uh, rupees 47.4 so uh, each stock of this company gulf oil lubricants it is creating 47.4 rupees for you in an year so now let's look into the dividend payout the dividend payout is very healthy it is 52.7 percent which is extremely nice and if we look into the peg ratio it is 1.22 which makes this company to grow in the future as well so the price earning growth ratio is 1.22 percent and if we look into the altman jet score it is 5.22 which is uh, which is extremely which is also very nice and uh, if you look into the ROIC, the return on invested capital, it is 17.9%. So it is giving the invested ca the the capital that is being made on on the investment that you have done, it is 17.9% approximately. I mean, uh, so now we look into the Piotrowski score. It is six. So it has scored six out of nine. So it specifies the average financials for this company. Now let's look into uh, the return over one month. It is 4.7%. Uh, 
एंड फोर पॉइंट सेवन जीरो परसेंट द रिटर्न ओवर वन वीक इज माइनस पॉइंट सेवन टू परसेंट एंड द रिटर्न ओवर वन डे इज पॉइंट जीरो वन सेवन परसेंट सो वी कैन नॉट डेसीफर वेदर द द स्टॉक इज इन अप ट्रेंड और डाउन ट्रेंड बिकॉज इट इज़ नॉट वेरी फीजेबल फ्रॉम द डेटा हाउ एवर लेट्स लुक इन टू द चार्ट स्ट्रक्चर बट मूव प्रायर टू मूविंग टू द चार्ट स्ट्रक्चर विल जस्ट बी लुकिंग इन टू द बीटा फॉर द स्टॉक सो द बीटा इज पॉइंट सिक्स एट विच इज ओके सो इफ द मार्केट विल बी मूविंग बाई वन इट विल बी मूविंग बाई पॉइंट सिक्स एट एंड इफ द मार्केट विल बी फॉलोइंग दैन इट विल फॉल बाई पॉइंट सिक्स एट Now let's look into the stock score for Gulf Oil. It has scored 10 out of 10. So this makes uh, this uh, stock a very desirable one, and this makes a stock extremely good fundamental wise. So earning is nine, fundamentals is eight, relative relative valuation is ten, risk is ten, and price momentum is two. So. Now let's move on to the chart structure to know more about this. So here we see that the stock is is consolidating in this range of 464, 460, 464. Now if um, if it will break this level, then it has the potential to move till 500, and thereafter it has the potential to move till 519, and then 606. so and here if we look into the volume the volume is increasing though the price was uh, is consolidating in this range so probably the smart money they may be trying to enter this stock and uh, if we look into this uh, the the mscd line then we have we can wait for this m black line to cross this red line and then we can invest in the stock but please consult your financial advisor and do your due diligence before investing in this stock so now let's move on to the fair value for this stock and get to know what exactly may be the fair value so as of now the stock is moving at 490 458.95 and the average the fair uh, value for this stock is coming out to be 700.49 so there leaves a room of 52.6% upside So the spread can be between 637 to 829 range. You can go through the pros and cons of this company. Probably here only the pros are mentioned. So you can just also visit the website to get to know more about this company. In case you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the useful information on a regular basis. Thank you for now and have a great day. Thank you for listening.